Good morning, YouTube. So we are in the Supra, and it's raining. And that is because my charge pipe uh, came out of its coupler by the turbo. So we are going to go ahead and go back to the shop and get that reattached. Um, I'll go ahead and pop the hood and try to show you what happened. So basically, the charge pipe running all the way down to feed the turbo came out of the coupler, which looks like this. When I was driving yesterday, I heard a noise after I was getting on it, and what I think happened was this, uh, you know, this tie broke or couldn't hold on to the pressure. So, that is off the car now. It's loose, but we're gonna have to drive it to the shop anyway. Anyway, should make for a pretty interesting drive with the, uh, the bridge stones on here. So. I'll try to put some footage up of the drive and uh, catch you after we get the uh, charge pipe reinstalled. Alright, so I'm on the road to the shop and uh, you can kind of hear the turbo a little bit more with the charge pipe being detached. So uh, hopefully we'll get that fixed. But anyway, just driving in the monsoon. Bridgestone RE 71 R's, I believe. I think that's what they're uh, called. <clears throat> so they're not doing too bad, actually. Uh, haven't really slipped at all, but then again, I haven't really been on it. Uh, anyway, just some driving footage. About to hop 195. been doing about 65 to 75 miles an hour and been totally fine with these tires. I know a lot of people are uh, using the, the T-bolt as far as the clamps go. Um, if you have used them in the past or are using them now, drop a comment. And uh, let me know how you like them. I think that's probably what I'll have to, to switch to instead of these AMS clamps. Because, like I said, I was driving along, um, kind of pushing the car on the highway, and then all of a sudden I just hear a boom under the hood. And I'm like, what the heck was that? So I got all nervous. But it looks like it was just the charge pipe that came off, that came off a little bit. I'm not sure if those clamps can really hold. Anyway, so I'm thinking about using the T-bolt. Just a lovely day for a nice drive in the Supra. I, I'm sure. I guess uh, this is how people who daily drive their Supras feel, only with a better tire, obviously for winter, but. a little taste of that because you know usually I'm in my RAV4 and this thing doesn't see the rain but so far like I said not bad in the rain not bad these are the conditions I'm dealing with I'm still trucking along here almost a complete whiteout of rain but Supra's handling it. Just going real slow. It's like, of course, the one day I need to go get this charge pipe taken care of uh, besides the monsoon outside.
almost wish the car was all-wheel drive right about now. I mean, I can't see anything. Standing water everywhere. charge pipe was actually crushed at the base apparently AMS issued like a notice or a recall on their first batch of charge pipes and uh, basically my charge pipe uh, was crushed and uh, failed so uh, we'll wait to hear back from a90 garage who I ordered the charge pipe through see what they say uh, Hopefully get reimbursed or get a new AMS charge pipe through them. If not, then Let me know what charge pipe I should do because um, Definitely don't want this to happen again Anyway, uh, big shout out to kinetic auto works. They do all the work on my car if you're from Central Maryland or anywhere around the Maryland Virginia area definitely check them out they're located right here in uh, you know near Annapolis and uh, they do a lot of good work on the Supras so anyway time to drive this home take it easy they were able to you know reattach the charge pipe but you know I just can't punch it or anything so it is what it is uh, anyway, if you enjoy these type of videos, uh, leave a like, uh, comment, you know, what you want to see next with the, uh, the 2020 Supra, and uh, everybody have a good day. Thanks for watching.